inside of Kiss It After Dark. We are inside of Confessions of Love tonight, and this is a super night, and you know why it's super. I've been telling you all night she was coming, and she is here. The supermodel herself, the actress, the businesswoman, uh, uh, the used-to-be swimmer. I, I find out she still swims. Miss Beverly Johnson, thank you for coming to Kiss It After Dark tonight. Oh, yes, it's very nice to be here. It's nice to see you. You yes. look like a million dollars. Well, thank you. And I'm sweating profusely. I guess I'm a little nervous <laughs> of her presence, though. Uh, that happens a lot. <laughs> a lot of men sweat around you, huh? Yeah, they do. Uh, now, is the, are they sweating because you beat them in golf? Because I hear that you're going to become my new, my new golf teacher. But is, is that the reason why they're sweating? Because you got a great game in golf? Well, I, I'm, I've been known to um, take a few dollars here and there. I've heard they do that. I've heard, yeah. that. and I'm I'm really trying to get that game like mastered. Really? What really got you into golfing? Well, my father and I used to watch golf when I was. I remember like it was yesterday, lying on the uh, living room floor watching golf on television. It was so quiet and so beautiful. It was like this alone time with my father and I. You know, my other my sisters and brothers are outside. You know, wreaking havoc. And I always said to myself, when I get big, I'm going to learn how to play golf. You claimed it then. Yeah, I did. And you're living up to your word. I I am. I've been playing for about ten years and I, I moved on a golf course and wow. I play every morning and then I come in and I start my day in the office. So now, when you move around the country though, do you take your clubs with you? Are you that? I used to be that, but usually when I'm moving around the country, I'm really working, so I just, you know. Leave it at home. Yeah. She is a supermodel. She is the supermodel of all of our time. Uh, when we first got into the supermodel, this is the lady that I've seen in magazines for a long time, and it's nice to see her in the flesh and in person right here, right now. So let's go into another super song as we got the company of this beautiful lady, Miss Beverly Johnson, with us in our company. This is Kissing After Dark. 98.7 KISS FM, I'm Lady Green, in the company of one of the most beautiful ladies of our time, Miss Beverly Johnson, supermodel. What does the year 1974 hold special to you? For those who don't know. Well, that was the year that I became the first African American to grace the cover of Vogue magazine, August 1974. How did that make you feel? Well, it was it was always, you know, one of my wishes to be on the cover of Vogue magazine. It's every model's wish. And then when I realized that I was the first woman of color on that magazine, of course when it happened I was quite upset because I was like, why? And then I realized the impact it had right around the world. And so this was the first acceptance of women of beauty into the mainstream of America. And by that happening at that particular time, what role do you feel that you have um, imparted within the fashion industry itself uh, from that point? Well, it was, it was a huge responsibility. I was very young at the time, and for me, it, it began a journey of, of who I am and where I came from and the importance of, of, of what just happened. And I think that as time went on, uh, it, because it's been a while now, I think that the fashion industry uh, absolutely understands the significance of that of that uh, color-breaking um, cover. Well, you know what, I, uh, I'm i very happy that you were the one to break that mold. They, they call you the Jackie Robinson of modeling. <laughs> and, uh, it, you know, we have to applaud and embrace those who have walked before us. And I'm sure there's a great majority in the game today of fashion that respects what you have done. But I want to talk with you a little bit more about the challenges that you might feel you know, African-American models still face in the industry in just a moment. Uh, this is Confessions of Love, and every time we do a Confessions of Love, Beverly, we, uh, we theme it around a particular topic. So tonight's themed around super, because you are super uh, by being the first uh, African-American woman to grace the cover of Vogue magazine. Is you're just phenomenal, and, and I thank you for being with me tonight. Absolutely. This is Fashion Week, baby. You couldn't ask for a better a guest to be in the midst of the ambiance of love and romance than this lady right here. So let's get into another super song, Inside of Kissing After Dark. 
Welcome inside of Kissing After Dark. I'm Lenny Green, and we are joined by Miss Beverly Johnson, who's in New York to, uh, I understand, catch a few fashion shows uh, for Fashion Week, huh? Have, what, what shows have you been to so far? Well, I've been to a number of shows. Uh, one of my favorite shows um, is uh, Tracy Reese and uh, she had a fabulous show. I must say that um, there was um, a big upset. I did go to one of the fashion shows where um, there were no black models present. Hmm. Uh, I, I get this from the models that tell me, you know, they're not using us on the runways, and I've heard from Beth Ann Hardison, we have a black girl coalition about the problem of um, the designers not using black models on the runway, but this was my first time experiencing uh, it firsthand, huh? firsthand, and I was truly shaken uh, by it. It. Um, Why do you think that happens, though? Well, uh, I. Uh, they say it's a trend, but um, I'm not a trend. Uh, black people aren't a trend. And I think we make uh, too much of a contribution to the world of fashion to be ignored like that. I, 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 the, the entire audience was filled with, it was like a rainbow, and there were, I would say, more people of color than anyone else. And there on the runway were these um, beautiful white models, but it, it, it's just something brought back down south segregation to me that just did not sit well. And, and that to me was a, a, a huge disappointment, but I must say Tracy Reese, um, uh, uh, one of our only black designers, really lifted me from that place and, uh, you know, took me into what fashion is all about. Well, you know, they say the struggle continues. Yes, it does. We've made some great strides. Yes. But the, uh, the journey is far from being over. And, and it's nice to know that you're a trooper and you are doing it and making sure that, you know, the presence and the importance of, uh, of uh, African-American models are, are prevalent with all of these designers, because you're absolutely right. We do make up a great majority of uh, the buying public. Yes. And we really support so much. Yes. Before we let her go, we're going to get into another super song and come back and wrap it up with this beautiful lady, Beverly Johnson, who's in our presence tonight inside of Confessions of Love on 98.7 KISS FM. It's Kissing After Dark. We're about to let you go, Miss Beverly Johnson, but I can't begin to tell you how much of a joy it has been just to see you uh, to meet you finally and to uh, say thank you for all that you've done. Uh, that can't be said enough oh, thank uh, you. for the thank challenges because I know you've been through challenges and, and I don't know if you're still going through them, but I know you're a businesswoman these days and yes. you started your wig line. Yes. Uh, if, if I was a guy who still wanted hair, <laughs> I guess, you know, I understand, you know, they, they don't start, they don't start bidding lines uh, or hair lines for, for men at least. Well, we might, we might do that. I'm not going to change my mind for my <laughs> hair and cut. I right. just want you to know that. All right. But, uh, one last question I, I gotta ask. How was it working with Bernie Mac? Because I loved oh, you. Why? Although that was real dog. That was real that was real dirty what you did. It was real dirty that you did to Bernie oh, Mac in goodness. that movie. But how was it working with them? Oh, he is such a brilliant, brilliant comedian and I and I just really cherished that I had an opportunity to work with such a, a, co a comedic genius. It was really great. Really <laughs> you great. were really great. Yeah, you very played funny. Role and Bill Bellamy, oh man. <laughs> that scene will never go out of my mind by no means. Any parting words that you would like to uh, let New York know? Uh, just that, um, you know, fashion is alive and uh, well in New York. It's been a very exciting week for myself and uh, I look forward to many more um, you know, fashion weeks. And how can we keep up with Beverly Johnson? I am in Target with Beverly Johnson Hair Care Lines and you look for my fabulous, continue to look for my fabulous wigs and hair extensions. I'm just keeping the, keeping the girls glamorous and gorgeous. I know that's right. Do you have a website as well? Yes, I do. BeverlyJohnsonBeauty.com We'll be looking. Okay. And I'll be observing. Right. Beverly Johnson, super, super model she is, businesswoman she is, actress she is, and then so. Golfer? Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is 98.7 KISS FM.